Alright YouTube, but what is going on? My name is Bigfoot, thank you very much for checking out this video. In today's episode of Transport Fever White Valley, episode number 48, we are going to go ahead and start by adding a new train on. We sort of started this project at the end of the last episode. Basically, we're going to try and connect up Prince Dobster's cargo station up to this station over here, which produces the construction materials. Currently, they are provided into the town of Prince Dobster by truck, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to put that on to the good old train instead, and then we're going to go ahead and expand the network so we can start to think about moving into Maidstone as well. So that's really what's going to happen in this episode. The line is already created, which is good, and we're now starting to see um, some food also arrived in Prince Dobster as well. Micro percentage of 2%, but tides are slowly but surely turning now over here, which is good. They are taking a while, but tides are slowly changing, which I'm very happy about indeed. This place is the bottleneck right now. It's at 100% capacity. It needs to increase quite drastically. So, But until that happens, uh, it's just a waiting game for that and Prince Dobster, I guess. But let's go ahead and get ourselves a train on to this track. That's what we are really after right now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and get a, another junction just before this one. Okay, we're not. We're going to get one that's... Nope, that's not going to work there either. Okay. Right, we're going to try that. And then from here, we'll go ahead and get a locomotive onto the tracks. So let's go ahead and see what we've got. Let's go ahead and rotate this around. And first of all, let's go ahead and build a line. So from here, what is going to happen is we're going to go from Maidstone Halt down to Prince Dobster Cargo Depot, which is great. Now, what I think I will do is I will go ahead and rename this to the correct thing. So I guess this is really just uh, Prince Dobster... Con, it's basically just Prince Dobster construction, which is fine. So that's good there. So quite happy about that. Now the only problem is actually it does use two lines. Not nope, that's perfect, right? So the line is good to go, which is great. So with that said, now we need to go ahead and get a train onto this route. So what we need to do is, do we go down a hill or do we not go down a hill? That is the real question. I'm guessing it's quite difficult to say because. We go through a mountain here, so one black line, another black line, then another smaller black line. Yeah, so we definitely do go down quite a bit. We definitely do go down quite a bit, so that means there's going to be a bit of a hill, so that means we're probably going to want to go for one of the locomotives with higher tractive effort, which is going to naturally be the RE66. I think that would just be the best bet. So we'll grab one of use. Now with regards to freight here, I'm not really at all sure what we shall go for, but maybe something like this. I mean, that's only got a capacity of 12, which is crazily low. I think we can actually possibly get construction materials into these containers we can so let's just go for this because this would be the much better idea so let's get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve keep the train relatively short and that works out perfect so that's the g this is going to be prince dobster and this is going to be con and that train is good to go so for that we now just need to go ahead and remove the remaining vehicles on the truck route which serves this so this is g this is not the maidstone one we don't want to get rid of that one yet actually it's just the prince dobster one so let me go ahead and remove this line one because it is really annoying me uh where are we here so we're looking for g we're looking for prince this isn't an alphabetical order so it really doesn't help yeah here we are so the route's making a million right now which is absolutely stunning so let's go ahead and sell all those vehicles and let's go ahead and get rid of that route Perfect. So the next job there then I guess is to go ahead and really just connect up Maidstone if we can. Though what I'm thinking as well of doing here is actually getting construction materials to go from here to 
Doncaster, because we might as well. That's what this whole project is all about. So just when we go ahead and connect up more, we can get more facilities into each town. So we've got food coming into here now. Might as well bring construction materials into this place as well. And we do have the infrastructure already in place for that, in actual fact, which is good. So what we'll do here is we'll get this train to go into platforms number, what, I don't know, let's just say three here. So that'll tuck in if we can view the train lines. Perfect, yes, yeah, so that'll go into platform three. So it means when it gets to the station, it just passes through on lines five and six. And it'll just continue along, share the line with the current food train, which runs into here. And then it can pass through here, which isn't a problem either. Though it will be unless we shuffle some trains around here, actually. So if we go ahead and... No, this is actually going to be an issue already, isn't it? Right, okay, so it looks like we're going to be doing some upgrading, which is wonderful. Right, okay, if I go ahead and upgrade that to five platforms... I don't understand what's going on here. So if I hit number of tracks five, it doesn't actually add an extra one on, which is problematic. It just seems to add on a lot more buffers and make things very strange. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll wait for this train to get out the way. How's this doing on its upgrading? It has upgraded, which is good. So that should again help hopefully go ahead and make this train here a bit more populated. Arguably, it's still not bringing in a lot and it is still extremely unprofitable, but I'm just hoping to see a lot more food be made here. It will happen. It just will take a bit of time. Of course, when I'm wanting this train station to be empty, every single train turns up, which is a little bit frustrating, but it's actually crazy now with these train wagons that should actually take containers, how short they now are again. It's quite nice to see, but I guess we are stacking containers on top of each other, so instead of having longer trains, we've just got smarter trains of anything. Okay, let's go ahead and pause, let's go ahead and upgrade. And let's change that to 5 and hit apply. I knew it would do that, even though it had all the old information. And this is really problematic now. So, what I think we're actually going to have to do is we're going to have to delete the whole station. Then we're just going to have to build a total new one from scratch. Because there's obviously something not quite right with that. So, if we just do 6 platforms. Just in case we get more use out of this. Which I might indeed do in the future and then reconnect that up. That's perfect. So, this is now going to be the interesting challenge though, because I don't have a lot of room here, if you can already tell. So if we go ahead and chop this out of the way for the time being, what I think I might do is I might... I'm going to have to do quite a bit of work here, aren't I? So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm very quickly just going to skip forward. Right, so with a little bit of work, that's me gone ahead and freed up the tracks there. I am now realizing that in between these two stations here, we're now going to have three trains using the same track, which that could be a bit problematic. However, we'll cross that bridge if it does actually noticeably affect us. Okay, so from here, what we're going to do is Upper Doncaster. It's going to be a long train journey, let's put it that way, but it's going to run all the way through to here. This is going to be the G... This is going to be Don Caster, and this is going to be Construction Materials, which again we'll just call it Cons, which is perfect. Right, so we can go ahead and actually get a train on at this end as well. What I think we'll do for the time being is, yeah, I think we will add two trains on here actually. I think that would be a good idea, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves a locomotive of the electric kind, which I already know I'm basically building the same train here. So let's go ahead and also grab ourselves construction 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Duplicate that, set that onto the G, Doncaster, Cons, another green. It's crazy the amount of greens over that part of the world. Right, so now there's all of a sudden going to be a lot more pressure on this train. However, it seems to be coping relatively well. It is an incredibly short train, so that kind of makes sense. But now, all of a sudden, we've got an extra route, which is now putting pressure onto this. So, it is exciting. It is exciting. Right. Okay, that's good. That's good. So, yeah, we just need to wait now. It is just a waiting game, which is cool with regards to that as well. How are things changing over here? 
They're still not great. It's really weird. The Doncaster livestock just will not fill up. And the thing is, I've like double, triple, quadruple checked that I've not made a mistake. And I'm pretty adamant I've not made a mistake. So I'm really not sh at all sure what to do there. Anyway, what I want to do is I actually want to jump away from cargo for a second because we have a, a larger issue at stake. So Newton Abbott, Fordwich, Goldmine and Kendall all somehow share the one train still. So basically in between a lot of stations I basically have just a point to point from one station to another just to deal with the different capacity demands. However, it doesn't help that there's two brown lines coming into here, but there's a brown line that starts here in Newton Abbott, and this line continues to Fordwich, then Goldmine, and then Kendall, and that's why you get very large spikes of basically passengers waiting, because the, it's, it's, just a, it's just a bad line. So if we go ahead and filter here by T. Kendall, we do have only five trains on it as well, so we basically need to go ahead and break up this line, that is what we need to do. So. What I'm proposing here is I do a line from Newton Abbott only to Goldmine actually, but the thing is that's all relatively flat and then from Goldmine down it to the town of Kendall. One, this is actually going to be busier just with the airport as well and two, I do expect to have the train struggle a bit as they do come up the hill. They do, they do really drop a lot of speed coming up here which is important to note as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and attack that. So what I need to do is I need to start off here in the good old town of Goldmine. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a small change there. So we're going into the left platform. So that means I want to go ahead and have a merger into the right hand platform, which is perfect. Now what I'm going to do with this is we're going to go ahead and the Kendall to Newton, I'm actually going to keep these trains on this track, all five of them, and these five trains will serve the three towns, because I think that is enough trains to serve those three towns, so that's what we're going to do. So essentially all we're actually going to do is we're just going to remove Kendall and a Gold Alming, which is perfect. So that's now changed. Now I'm presuming there will be some trains now cut off, Actually, amazingly there isn't. That is the best timing ever. There's no trains in between Goldsmine right now and Kendall, which is so strange. So that's worked perfectly. But that also just emphasizes really the issues we've been having, honestly. It's absolutely crazy. The one thing is, is that train is going to get stuck there, though. I can see that being an issue. So let's go ahead and make a crossover there so that train can get out. But that just emphasizes the fact that there's such large gaps because it's one such a long route by distance but two it's got so many stops. You do get these irregularities and that's why we've been getting these spikes which I really have needed to go ahead and address. Now all of a sudden though we don't have a train line which goes from Goldsmine here down to the town of Kendall. So we'll go ahead and short, sort that out very quickly. Let's go ahead and slow the game down a bit. Right, okay, so that works out nicely. That goes into the correct platform as well, even better. So this is the G, this is Kendall, and this train is going to... It's going to be Goldmine to Kendall. Like so, and then what we can do this is we can rename this route and change the colour as well, actually. Let's put that to orange. Let's go ahead and name this the G, and this is now from Goldmine, which is perfect. And there we go, that's wonderful. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is actually get trains onto this route, which may be an easier... Actually, we've already got... Oh, this is wonderful. We've already got a train depot here. So what I think we're going to do, honestly, for this route is I'm thinking about going ahead... I think it'd be quite a high demanding route. So instead of Stadler Flirts, I'm thinking we actually overshoot this. And I was messing around with these earlier on. I've changed some... I've upgraded some trains off recording so you don't always see that but I upgraded to some of these which I think is a good idea or we could do actually let's do the TGV duplex we've not done these in forever and these can get a lot of speed the attractive effort is nice and high as well so I think they could come into some use right this is let me think this is a T train though I've obviously misnamed this because it just came up on my screen yeah I have misnamed this haven't I have I? Yeah, I have. 
Yeah, right, okay, that's a bit of an issue. So I'll go ahead and get that onto the tracks now, and then I'll very quickly jump in here. Rename this and give that a T. Right, wonderful. Okay, so that's now resolved. So that should hopefully just go ahead and really help the mess that is really over here right now, to be honest, because there's just way too many people waiting. I feel Newton Abbott's had it the worst, in all honesty. It's had way too many people waiting all the time, but hopefully that should go ahead and resolve that a little bit. Right, okay, anyway, back to our master project, which we're working on right now. So, I'm just having a quick glance. Yeah, tides are really starting to turn now there, which is good. Okay, so what we're going to do is I want to try and, if we can, connect up the town of Maidstone. I believe Maidstone right now does get construction materials via truck, arguably a very poor rate. So, we need to work on this whole town in general. So, what I am proposing is I'm proposing to try and get a good station in here, quite a large one at that. And then what we can do is we can go ahead and see what we can do because I'm sure this town has drastically grown since I've last worked in it. I need to change this entrance junction here because it's hideous. I need to have another road round here. I need to go ahead and the cargo depot is up there, for example, which doesn't really serve anyone. So it's really emphasized here that things just haven't changed in a long time at all. So let's go ahead and start with that. So first of all, I'm thinking that we go ahead and sort out this train station entrance because it's a bit hideous. So the problem is, and I don't know why I didn't do this originally, some of the tracks cross over each other, right? We've got all four platforms in use at the station, which is fine, but I currently have a, a track crossover, which is stupid. So what I need to do is I need to go ahead and remove this red line and basically just switch them places. That's what I need to do first of all. Now, originally this red line continued on through to Coburn before it got a larger capacity and we had to change that. That's why this crossover is here. So I wasn't that stupid when I built it, but I've just never gone, come back and upgraded it really. So that's what we're going to start off with doing now. And then from there, we'll go ahead and see what other changes we can make. So let me go ahead and cut all this back from here. And then that gives us a really good starting point. So we can go ahead and hopefully just achieve this quite easily, to be honest. I mean, you still keep a decent amount of speed there, which is good. And then that runs into there. Wonderful. And then on this approach here, it's going to slow down, but we're on the approach to the station anyway, and that works out not quite fine because I don't think the path routing has solved itself over here. Terminals, your terminal too, that's fine. So what is the issue? Oh, I know, right, that train's now going to be cut off, which is fine. Train 5, yeah, okay, I can see this, yeah, this is a problem. Right, what I need to do then is I need to do a temporary line which runs from there over to... There, though that is going to be an easier feat than said. We'll run you into there for now and then over to there. Right, something really bad has gone wrong here. Yeah, no, 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 I'm being stupid here. I'm being really stupid. So this needs to change to platform 2, and that needs to change to platform 4. So that's the first change, and that makes a lot of sense. We still do have this train that's cut off. That is the only thing. So if we get you over to there, and then get you over to there, that should resolve my temporarily issue for the time being. So this train can leave. Jump over, yep, perfect, and then again change once more. Yep, perfect, that's it, absolutely wonderful. Right, so that should actually go ahead and improve congestion as well, because a lot of the time we're waiting on trains going ahead and entering the station here at Maidstone, because they were sort of waiting to cross each other over, and it was just really inefficient. Again, it really made things stupid, and that's probably why we have a train like this which is 450 long. It's two Stadler flirts back to back, which, again, I feel is stupid. I feel we should go ahead and change that. 
because there's so much better trains instead of putting two Stadler flirts together, for example. So let's go ahead and have a look at that quickly. Let's make sure this is in alphabetical order, which it is. So this is the Maidstone to Telscom. M Maidstone, there we go. Right, okay, so we've actually only got three trains on it as well, but we can definitely go ahead and go for something totally different because it's just needed, honestly. It's just stupid having that. So we jump into electric here. It's a really good opportunity to try out maybe some different trains as well. What I'm thinking is maybe going for something like this. Arguably, I think I still need a capacity of over 300 though, so that does limit me slightly. 312, 426, 138 is too small, those trains are too small. What about the speed dance? I mean that's long and that's only got 170 capacity. ICE 3 I'd love, again that's too short. That's too short, what about Chicago Metroliner? I've been on one of those into Chicago and it wasn't that great. What about the good old TFV? Again, I feel that's not a high enough capacity, though. What about a metro liner itself? Yeah, not high enough capacity. I am tempted to bring this back, actually, but that costs 9 million a year. Whereas if we were to go for one of these, it only costs 4 million. So what I think we might do is go ahead and add in the RE450. Arguably, this is a double locomotive anyway, but I do just want to get rid of... I get a lot less Stadler flirts on the map, in all honesty just because it's really overused. Right, it looks like we're having an issue over here at Kendall Food Processing Plant, which is interesting. Try to ship more items, which, yeah, I think we do need to do that. I mean, again, I could see a railway line coming for that very shortly, but I'll leave that. It's not that big a deal right now, to be honest. I'm not going to add waste time adding new trucks, and I'm going to change that shortly. Looks like we're getting a lot of construction material into the Tyner Prince Dobster, though, as it should be, which is good to see. The percentage is actually lower than it once was before, but should now be getting uh, some materials round to here. Though that doesn't look like it right now. Which is a shame. And I don't know why. I'm guessing maybe the trains haven't made it all the way around yet. I mean, this train should be doing that right now. That's a food train. Is there anything aiming for Doncaster? Yeah, there is. So I guess, I mean, it's just a brand new route, so it's just starting. Right, okay, anyway, let's turn our attention here back to Maidstone. So, I think what we're going to have to do here is, because Doncaster's on a hill as well, a really awkward hill at that, to be honest. So I think we need to go ahead and add in the cargo station down here, actually quite a bit out of town, and then supply the town from there. So let's make this eight platforms because I've got a feeling this is going to be quite a large crossroads here as well. So what's going to happen is we're going to stick this along here for the time being. So this is just downriver from our Doncaster plant. So what realistically is going to happen I think is we're going to have a junction like here. Say to there. And then what's going to happen is we'll maybe have another station here. I can actually just build this right now, to be honest. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So let's go ahead and cut that back a bit. Let's go ahead and grab our stations. This station will not need anywhere near. We'll put in five platforms here, just a random number. So let's go ahead and rotate that right round like that. Let's get that a bit of an angle as well, I think. Could be super useful. And let's cut this back even more. So say we get that to run through, I don't know, platforms 3 and 4, that would be fine. I'm just going to build one right now just to show you as the example. Then this will run along here. Then what we can do is we can maybe have a side track which goes ahead and has some platforms, but I'll deal with that when we actually use that. Then we'd have a crossover here which is going to just have to be, and then what we'd do is we'd have, I guess, the extremely large cross over and lots of junctions here because there's going to be a lot for this station so that is really what's going to happen here so that's going to run along to here and then what we can do is we can go ahead and add in a road which connects into there try to have it a bit more elegant like so and then this will absorb all into the town 
Now, Maidstone with regards, we can basically go ahead and improve upon that. What I actually want to do is maybe try and get this into action a lot sooner, actually. So what I'm thinking is, if we double this up, or at least provisionally double up, what I want to try and do is I want to try and have that occurring, which is perfect. So that works nicely. That's a nice curve. What I want to do is I want to get a train. Ah, oh, this is going to be difficult, isn't it? What's been difficult? It's the crossroad. It's always the crossroads these days, man. I don't know what it is, but I think it's maybe this crossroads on a slope, which doesn't help things either. So let me go ahead and very quickly just demolish that and that. Let's build the lines first. But what I would like to do is get a train coming from our construction material plant nearby to serve Maidstone instead of the trucks because I think that would really help with the start of the upgrade. So what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to double all this track up and I'm going to go ahead and signal it up as well so we could basically get a train coming from up here over into this station here instead of using the trucks. Alright, so that's me gone ahead and finished installing the line, which is great. So with this done, we should be able to go ahead and achieve what I want to do. So I had to go ahead and also upgrade this station to four platforms, which, remember when I built it in the last episode, I thought, oh, I'll never need to upgrade this station. It's the famous last words, but we're going to have another train coming out of here, which is going to be crazy. I've also gone ahead and redone this whole junction because it was just a bit of a... I needed it, I really did need it. But, as we can see now, what I need to do is we need to connect uh, another line from there, but this time down to here, which is exciting. So let's get rid of that brown because it's unseeable. So let's get that nice yellow in there. So this is sort of the junction that we've made here going through this station. And then this comes in and this will hopefully slot into the empty platform, which it has, which is great. So this is now the G. This is going to be the Maidstone. Also, this is going to replace the trucks. So this is G, this is Maidstone, and this is going to be cons as well, which is perfect. So that means now we should have from here three cons or con, and then we've also got the stone train as well, which is doing relatively well. There is the most stone moving out of here that there ever has been. Though it's still incredibly low, even though we've got so much different customers now, and it's good to see that it's finally getting all the way around here, which is even better. And also the food is slowly starting to increase a bit more as well, which I'm happy about too. Okay, so let's go back to this and let's go ahead and get a train onto the tracks here. The good thing is we can do it from this wonderful depot. And I think for this one we're just going to have one train, but maybe have this slightly longer. Again, I'm just going to build the same train, so it's nothing too exciting. Let's go ahead and go for wagons, let's go for freight. Let's go for our containers. And let's go ahead and change this to construction materials. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14 I'm going to do here, just because I don't justify it for two trains, but I think it could benefit from being slightly longer. So this is G, this is for Maidstone, and this is Maidstone Construction, which is perfect. So that train's now good to go. Now though, that renders the trucks redundant, which is a real shame, but it's competition for you, I guess. Plus, it's me that's still making the money anyway. I'm just making things more efficient. So if we scroll up through this and the G made stone construction materials, it's actually in the negative anyway. So probably works out well that we're getting rid of it. And there we go. That's that sorted, which is good. So now we can go ahead and get rid of this depot here. And that is the end of the trucks from being up here. I am also not liking this curvature at all, even though we're not going to use this road anymore. I would like a much more natural curve, so that looks a bit better. And let's just soften up this terrain as well, because it's... Again, it just all really annoys me when I have a look at it, so... It's nice to see cars are actually using this road in between... It's sort of like a halfway between Maidstone and Coburn and the town of Prince Dobster, and arguably actually Doncaster as well, because this is sort of like a valley here, which we've got going on, which works out nicely. Anyway, so turning my attention back over to here, we've now going to have construction materials coming into here, which we need to ship out around the city. So for this, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and get some road infrastructure into place, which will go ahead and get the goods around town the best possible way. 
what I think we're going to need to do is probably just have general trucks because we're going to have lots of different goods coming into here anyway. So what I'm thinking of doing here is having a cargo depot right here and those two are in sphere of influence of each other which is good and also in speed of influence of heat as well. So if we ever land up making tools or machinery, it's gonna be really, really beneficial for the town here. Now this is where things are gonna get interesting because this is where my challenge lies. Currently we've got a good depot up there, but that is the most stupid place for one. And based on that, the percentage is so poor, which I'm not surprised at, I think we're just gonna go ahead and delete this now anyway, because it's actually not getting any service, so. That would make sense. Then from here we need to go ahead and I think probably try and get two city depots in here. So what I'm proposing is we get one in here and that serves this part of town relatively well. Then I would like another one up here. I think we're actually going to get three in to be honest. I just did hit the wrong button there, that is a little bit frustrating. What I'm thinking is probably trying to get one in around here maybe. I want to try and destroy as little buildings as possible, but I think naturally I'm about to destroy quite a lot of buildings. Yeah, right, so we'll stick that in there, so that covers that part of town quite well, and then we've still got this side over here, which I'm actually going to go ahead and help out with a bridge, because I think that's very much it could be beneficial as well. What I think we should do is also straighten up this road if we can too, or make it a bit better. So if we jump in here and go to highways and go to no, let's go ahead and upgrade all of this into a bit of a larger highway, just because this is going in between two quite large towns. Well, that's not possible. That is though, which is strange. Right, so that's just a small upgrade between these two towns. Arguably, we could do something even better. And I think we're just going to create a new road staying on the one side of the track and not causing too much of an issue. So if we go ahead and drag that in to... There, like, so that works out a lot better, actually. And that means that this road here, we can go ahead and make some improvements on it. So let's go ahead and downgrade that. Now that's not going to happen, is it? Right, tell you what, let's go ahead and get rid of this. Chase this back over the railway line. I do not want to delete any part of the railway line, but you're not going to give me much other choice, are you? Right, that works out fine to there. Let me go ahead and very quickly sort this issue out here. So that's fine. Then what I can do is I can also go ahead and re-alter this road back to just a general small street, which is fine. Then what we can do from here, instead of having this highway, I do realise there's still trucks on the move around here, so I will sort this out ASAP. Let's go ahead and draw just a normal country road. From there to... There. Then what I want to do is do that from there. Will that work? Perfect, it will. And then this section here, we can actually read downgrade now because that's not the main road. And voila, perfect. Right, so that works perfectly. Or relatively good anyway. And that means now we've gone ahead and taken pressure. If people are still driving all the way from Hetton, then that's fine. But I don't think many people are, to be honest. So that's just a small upgrade to the road, which should make a difference for the people in the town. Anyway. Going back to where we're at, I want to build a bridge. So let's go ahead and try and see if we can achieve that. Now what I want to do is probably have the bridge come out from here. Though realistically that isn't going to happen, is it? What I think we're going to need to do is we're going to need to do... I don't know if we'll get enough elevation in time though. No, we won't. That is the problem. Right, okay, so what I'm thinking of doing then is coming out of here. Oh, this is a logistical nightmare. Right, what we need to do is we need to make a road come round here that is parallel. Like so, and let's start to go up. Perfect. Then what we're going to try do is get this... I mean, this is going to be hideous at this rate, isn't it? While we... Right, let's go ahead and get you up to a decent height. Like so. Then let's have you... 
flatten out at that height there. Then let's bring this down. Well, we'll have to build you to say there anyway. Then what we can do is go ahead and get rid of that, get rid of that, and we should be able to go ahead and just build into there like that. Right, well, uh, so that is hideous, but it does the job, and hopefully it should connect up town a little bit better. But what I also want to do is, oh, huh. Would that be too much, would that be too hideous? Yeah, that would be having like a junction on the bridge. I really, really want to try and make this work though. And I think we could. If I tidy this up a bit. So if we go ahead and redraw that into there. Then if we have these two roads come together. And then draw that into there. That works. It might cause quite a bit of traffic in all honesty, but it works. So if we soften that up a tiny bit, I can't really actually even soften that up, but that just means that if there's any road vehicles coming from... To be fair, I think we can downgrade this whole bridge, actually. There's no need for it to be an expressway. That's for sure, yes. Yeah, so that works out a little bit better. Yeah, that works nicely, actually. I quite like that. It could be a thumbnail. It's a quirky bridge. It really is, and its, it's elevation isn't perfect, don't get me wrong, but it does the job. So coming back over to here, now as we can see, we've got a lot to cover here, so... Let me go ahead and, if we can, just get a straight road coming through here and then from there. Then what we can do is add in a third and final depot and that gives us lots to go ahead and connect up to. So, from here, I'm starting to realise now we're going to need to upgrade this already before we get it into action. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get something quite overkill, to be honest. Then from here, let's go ahead and connect up our goods routes. So from here, let's do our first one, which is just going to run to there. It's going to be quite short. This is going to be the G. This is going to be made stone goods one. Then let's create another route, which goes from there to there, which is going to be the G made stone goods too. Now those two shouldn't be affected by traffic too much. This next one does worry me though. So from here we're going to go up to this part of town here but it's going to not go on that road because that road's got trams on it so we don't want to congest that up anymore. So this is going to be the made stone and then made stone goods Three, which is perfect. Right, so I'm very quickly going to go ahead and add in waypoints for this route. Just because I don't think it would really help going the other way. It's going to be quite slow. So after the Maidstone halt, we're going to run via here. And then on the way back, we're going to go via there, which is perfect. Right, so what I need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is go ahead and add in road vehicles to this. But I'm going to go ahead and do this in between this and the next episode. You see what I'm trying to build. And I'll go ahead and get that sorted for you, just because we've run over on time on this episode. So, let's just very quickly go ahead and see how things are going. Over here, we're starting to see lots of stuff ready to go to Doncaster. I'm hoping that the Prince Dobster train's just been and we've not depleted all the resources from here. Arguably, there's still a lot of room for improvement. So, as long as Prince Dobster's still getting construction materials, which it is, then we're fine. Coming over to here, that won't be supplying any demand yet, so we can ignore Maidstone. Coming around the corner, a lot more food being made here, production nice and high, hopefully that will upgrade again shortly. How's Doncaster looking? Looking relatively good for food and relatively good for construction materials though. Again, there is room for improvement, but that's really just waiting on, I guess, some more demand filling up. Coming back over to here, the production's down actually, but the good thing is the split is quite even now. The train that is about to leave the station is it's still not that full so but i don't know we're getting a lot of food out of it and then down here we're doing well 
also. So I'm quite happy with our continued progression which we've got over here now. So it's only going to get better as time goes on and I can't wait for you to join me on that journey. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for this video. So go ahead and check out the description where my Twitter, Patreon and Discord links are. Join them all and support me if you can. Go ahead and leave this video a like rating. It really helps the channel grow. And that's all. So thanks very much for watching. My name is Bigfoot and I'm out.